Okay, uh, this is the Dell Precision 7510. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Press that button there, it should come off. There it goes. Uh, all the way to the end there, and the battery should pop off. Should pop off. There it goes. Little tab here. Um, let me check. Screw here. I think it's the jeweler's Phillips head. One screw. A little dark. There it goes. Two screws. The screw doesn't want to come out. Two screws. Um, this should pop out then. Am I missing something? I got the wrong screw. Okay, that was this is for that. <laughs> this was the hard drive screw. There it goes. There it goes. Now this should pop off. Pops off. Okay, this is the RAM. I got 16 gigabytes of RAM here. And this is 2.5. And this should be the this should be the M2 slot. Slot. It should pop off. Wait. And this is why I should read the manual. This is why I should have. Actually, I did read the manual. This is why I should have the manual in front of me. Actually. Okay. Okay, let's see, it should fit like this, yes? And this right here is really... This cable release is in the way. Let's see if I can move it. There it goes. There it goes. Liking that connection here. Do it like that. I'm literally not liking that right there. I have to squeeze this all the way down. There it goes. It's a little, it's a little tab right there. There it is. My screw. Tighten it up a bit. Not too tight, but tight enough. Okay. Okay, that's for the M2 drive. Here is the SS2 drive here. Okay, 
And the good news is this one has the This one has the um, instructions right there. I believe you only need to do these one, two, three, four. I don't think you have to do those ones. Let me see. Pull it out. Pull to release. There we go. You gotta you gotta pull it that way. And that's the, the drive there. Okay, I see it. The screws right here. One, two, three, four. And four screws that hose it. The old Seagate um, mechanical. I got the got this uh, solid state uh, 850 Evo. Just push it in like before. Now we line up the screws, and this does not want to line up straight. I hate laptops. Okay, so so make pro tip here. Make sure you have it in the right way. I had it the opposite way, and that's why the screws didn't line up because it was. It was flipped, so that sucks. But uh, yeah, so now everything lines up. One, two, three, four. You put the screws in, and now you just push it back in. Right. So now you gotta put the screws back in. So that's that's basically it. that's the M2 slot, the 2.5 slot there. And now I have both our SSDs now. Should boot up a lot faster. That's kind of the only issue that I have with this laptop is the boot times were really really um, really slow. And I already have. Um, I already made a backup of my hard drive is on my external so I just have to fire up my Acronis flash drive here my Acronis flash drive and I can image the drive back on there I'm gonna be putting the boot drive on the M2 because the M2 is uh, faster. Also, uh, keep in mind that this laptop, um, this laptop only takes uh, PCIe M2 drives. It does not take the SATA ones. Okay, four screws for that. Stick the um, battery back in. And um, my RAM didn't come in yet. I bought an extra 16 gig of RAM to uh, put in here to make it up to 32. Okay, put the cover back on. There it goes. Make sure everything's snug. 
snug. Put the two screws in. Oh, I have such bad, bad luck with laptops, but it went pretty smooth. Now I just have to clone my drives. I mean, uh, install my drive. Thank you.